time to welcome Mr. Rajat Kathuria from uh, Signature Global to talk to us about their business. We are calling them because Kotak Institutional Equities had recently initiated coverage on the counter, came back fairly positive. They call the sector view attractive and they expect that the fair value of the stock is around 900 bucks and above. So definitely seeing quite a bit of upside and of course from the IPO pricing we have seen that the stock has rallied quite a bit. Uh, Rajat, hi, good to be speaking with you. I was just reading their note and they talk about how your pre-sales has jumped 8x between FI20 to 23 and it's right now close to 3400 crores thereabout. 3400 crores on pre-sales. How do you expect the next two to three years to pan out for yourself? Is this kind of run rate really possible to continue? Yeah, so morning. So thanks for calling us on the show. So see, we are a demand and a geography focused venture. In terms of, sorry, product and geography focused venture. In terms of product, we are focusing primarily on the mid-income housing. And as far as the geography is concerned, you know, we are focusing on Gurgaon and Sona markets. So given the current, you know, demand supply dynamics, we've witnessed a very strong growth in sales, but we are very comfortable with a strong growth in the medium term as well. So uh, we sh you can comfortably expect a more than 30% sales carrier over the medium term uh, in terms of sales. Uh, so you have guided at what? Uh, you'll, how much will you uh, f finish the year at? Uh, how much will you booked in this financial year out of that? So last year we achieved 3,400 crores of pre-sales. This year our guidance is to cross 4,500 odd crores. And you're largely into, if I have it right, affordable and, you know, the lower end of the strata kind of projects. Are you looking at tapping into this entire luxury wave as well and getting into the premium segment? Or are you happy in your range and you see enough demand there? So, see, if we uh, break down the market into affordable, mid-income and premium segments, we are largely focused uh, at least over the last, you know, one or two years on the mid-income housing segment. That's why you'll see our sales realizations on a per square foot basis have, uh, you know, increased multifold. So in FY21, we were achieving about close to 4,000 rupees a square foot in terms of, uh, you know, sales being achieved. Whereas in the current year, you know, that number is almost close to 10,000 10, rupees a square foot. So we're primarily focusing on mid-income housing sales and we have no intent to get into the luxury housing segment in the near future. What about your net debt? Um, it's at about a thousand crore rupees, if I'm not mistaken. Given the kind of business development, given your project pipeline, what is your debt trajectory going down the line? So I'll just step back a little on that. So see, uh, we've operated the company more like a you know production setup. You know, rather than looking at it as a you know clutch of projects, we've always tried to um, make it more like a home manufacturing enterprise. So if you look at you know our land acquisition strategy as well so leverage typically builds up in a development company if you uh, over go on the land side uh, but what we've typically done is that from the land acquisition till launch you know it has typically taken us about 18 months and everything you know which we've been acquiring you know we've been uh, you know launching and you know attempting to sell it so we treat land purely as a raw material because of which our, you know, capital efficiency is uh, quite good. And within a small uh, span of time in less than a decade of existence, you know, we managed to, you know, snowball the enterprise into, uh, you know, a half billion dollar sale entity. So as far as the debt is concerned, we want to stay disciplined, you know, as far as DEFCO is concerned, where we're just kind of, you know, buying and selling, uh, you know, we're churning uh, land, so to say. Uh, our principle is that our net debt should never exceed uh, the operating surplus being created in any particular year. So in the current year, we are planning to create a surplus of about 1,000 crores. Uh, so our net debt number should not kind of you know, exceed that mark. Rajat, I really like that uh, analogy which you draw, that you, are, you should not be seen as a real estate company, but a manufacturer of homes. So, so the volume growth actually will be the... Uh, you know, number to watch out for and you, you you don't wish to buy a piece of land and hold it long because that is standing inventory is actually uh, inefficient for your return ratios. What kind of yields are you talking about? As your volumes grow in the next two to three years, will the yields, will operating leverage kick in? Is there scope for yields to go up? So, 
operating leverage is kicking in for a couple of reasons ajay so uh, see we've been an active acquirer of raw material which is the biggest raw material land you know the last couple of years so land prices in this part of the country at least have really spiked over the last 2 3 years and we have the advantage of owning lot of land which was pre uh, this spike took place so because of that in every sale which is being done the embedded ebitda is much higher than what it was uh, you know over the last 5 to 7 years so while we are growing in sales so if i'm saying that you know we are comfortable with a sales cagr of about 30% on a medium term basis i'm also very comfortable in stating that the embedded ebitda in whatever sales are supposed to happen is going to be upwards of 30% so with both of these factors yes uh, you know operating parameters are going to look much stronger uh, in the years to come Yeah, Raja. You talked about how the embedded EBITDA is going to be around thirty percent, but at the company level, uh, what could be the margin profile? Because obviously, we're loss making till up till FI twenty two, so difficult for me to uh, understand a sustainable number from the trend. But going forward, what would be the sustainable EBITDA number, margin number? That is. So see, we in terms of our portfolio, we are currently executing about seventeen million square foot of development. and there's another 27 million square foot which is in the forthcoming category so as far as the 17 uh, million square foot is concerned this is going to get developed over the block of next 10 quarters you know by end of fiscal year 26 we would have delivered the entire 17 million square foot and our endeavor is also to launch the entire 27 million square foot which is with us <clears throat> so in the 17 million we'll be recording revenue in excess of 11000 crores Uh, at a corporate level the ebitda margins on this uh, will be in the range of 25 to 30% back to 30% and that compares with i think sub 10% which was their last year but geographically speaking would you continue to focus on the ncr region itself or are there other uh, you know micro markets you're targeting as well uh so uh currently there is so much of work i think uh, there is no plan to you know shift from this product and geography focus which we've maintained and which is kind of you know reaping the results for us so we'll continue to focus on the delhi ncr market uh, rajat can i just go back on that number you said 11000 crore revenues for which financially are we talking about 25 no no this i'm saying uh, put together for fy24 fy25 and 26 okay, put together as a block okay as a we'll block complete this but if you, if i if i were to take uh, FY twenty five or twenty six individually each year. Uh, tough to give uh, you know accurate okay. numbers because this is dependent on project completions and you know. Sure. The so by twenty six ending, that. you can be a, you can be a eleven thousand crore revenue company by twenty uh, six ending. No, what I mean to say, Ajay, is that over this block of next ten okay. quarters, we are already you know we would have. completed the 17 million square foot that 17 million square foot in terms of value corresponds to 11000 plus crores so in a split of these 3 years we'll be recognizing that much revenue which is on projects we've already launched and mostly sold what we'll be launching in future will be this 27 million square foot which is almost more than you know 30000 odd crores uh, worth of inventory but you know over the next you know 2 years to you know Two and a half years will will endeavor to launch this entire uh, product portfolio. Okay, Rajat. On that note, we we'll let you go. Thanks so much for making time and speaking with us. So that's the latest coming in from Signature Global. They have their hands full with the kind of pipeline they have, and that means that the revenue from these could be around eleven thousand crore, with a margin of around twenty-five to twenty-six percent. So a sizable improvement from where they are right now. Let's.